This feels like home. This is really good. You know, it's the truth. First time. Yeah. Chico is one of those places. It's one of those places. Not Chico. I'm at Libertation. We're at CC. We're at CTP, dog. You, you, I'm Mexican, right? I was, we, were, we were driving up here, and I, was, I said, Dan, I got a Pepe. I got a Pepe, dog. And instead of PP, I don't say I got a PP. I say I got a Pepe. Can't help it. Because I'm Mexican. As I say, I got to go take a Pepe. I told him, go ahead. Yeah, anyways. Dry day. It's going to. See, I was just saying, CPP. Five up minutes here. after you get out of the we're car. We're at the autonomous community known as Levitation. It is. Uh, it's been a while. When there are no yeah, laws, things get very interesting and very good. That is the truth of the story. This goes out to Michael Jackson. And Captain Blackhawk. God damn it, this goes out to you. You know, the first time we ever played this was at Libertation. That's true. You busted on stage, we'd never heard it before. Because uh, Bebo had to repair his uh, snare drum. Yep. So, had to kill some time. No, this is awesome. You were all alone, and no one cares about you. Life is unpleasant, and everyone is mean to you. There's no meaning, there's no God, no objective right or wrong. But that's no reason to kill yourself. No, oh, oh, you don't have to die alone. Take someone with you when you go. Cause there are billions of people who don't know what to do. So when you die a violent death, take them with you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just gonna say, you know, we're... <laughs> All right. All right, this goes out to Big Ben, too. Oh, yeah? We're going to dedicate another song here, dude. God damn it. That's you, man. That's you. This is this song. It's about this friend we had. He was a roommate. And then he's like, I got to go into the army because it's either I got to be Beavis and Butthead like you dudes, or I got to go in the army. It was at Libertation, actually. And it was at Libertation. And we were on acid. And he says, I want to come up in the fucking hills. I'm going to tell you dudes something. I'm about to go in the military. And, and you dudes are the dirty people. And I'm going this way. And we're like on acid, you know? And like, I just see like, I don't know if you ever see at night when you see the fires and even during the day, you see like the first page of Lord of the Rings, you see a map. That's what I think of whenever I'm at Libertation. I think of the map on that page, all right? So on acid, on acid, I see that map, right? I told him, I said, you know what? You're gonna pee your pants and say you're gay and you're gonna try to come home and you're gonna wish we were friends again. The fuckwad, turns out, one of our mutual friends went over to pick up a video game at his house or something when he was we went in the military, his mom's there. She gets out of the shower with the newly dyed red hair. Look at she's looking to smoke a joint. She wants to share. She's in her towel. Uh yeah. <laughs> so when he called back from the military, we were like, Yeah, you know, Sean went over to your your mom's house. She's uh looking quite nice. <laughs> I'm in love with your mom, so don't get pissed, cause this is love, not just sex. And despite the point that she gives good head, I'm more into her eyes and her mind instead. We can live on a house in a hill with a dog and a stereo, you get your own room. I don't want to be your dad, I just want to be your bro. Maybe you could bear the ring. Yeah, there's some things about your mom that you wouldn't want to know. And so you'll hear me sing. <laughs> Not cool. I don't know if it's la, when la, she la, was la, in the la, circus or hear. just yoga or what it is, but she does this thing. And, uh, where you, sleep. Oh. you know, it just so happens with my port belly, it just, the way she can push the certain limbs back and it just kind of fits. It just fits. It all fits. It's like, <laughs> it's like obese puzzle. It's a puzzle. It, I'm in love with your mom, so don't get pissed. Because this is love, not just sex. It's despite the point that she gives good head. I'm more into her eyes and her mind instead. I'm more into her eyes and her mind instead. Play some more.
That one was you. What's that? You. Oh. You. John. You. Who's that? You. The song's about. Uh, about a. Uh, I mean, actually, Bobby Joe Bowley is a girl. Let's just get that out there. Are we gonna say that? Why not? Yeah, but this song's about a squirrel named Bobby. So, I mean, if you're wondering where who Bobby Joe Bowley is, just know that Bobby Joe is a girl. And, uh, but this song uh, about Bobby is kind. Of, it's you know might as well be about Bobby Joey Bowley. Just so you know, one and a half feet. It's 18 inches. <laughs> Bobby was 18, he met his Pegasus. They'd hang outside the malt shops, they had nothing else to do. And then one starlit night, old Bobby looked into her eyes and said, Baby, I really respect you tonight. In the maternity ward, nine months down the road, Bobby held Peggy's hand as she dispensed with her load. The doctor said she gave birth to a squirrel. And old Bobby's tail was said to curl. Oh, how do you help a lonely boy who don't know he's a squirrel? Wandering over the grass in the business park. And how do you convince a rodent that he has a big fuzzy tail? And that his head is smaller than a tomato. And that his head is smaller than a tomato. The press, they had a field day in that tiny refinery town. Biggest parents kept her inside so that she would not be found. Bobby snuck in through her window 16 days a week and stuffed his nuts into Peggy's cheeks. Oh, how do you help a lonely boy who don't know he's a squirrel? Wandering over the grass in the business park. And how do you convince a rodent that he has a big fuzzy tail and that his head is smaller than a tomato? And that his head is smaller than a tomato. <laughs> Marcus, I wouldn't want to be part of a club that would have me as a member. But, but going against my rule of, of not performing with dogs and children, I would like to become a member of Oakland Fire Pumps. Oh. As a geek, I am betraying my flag. Don't worry, we still have your flag. Can I be your cabinet? Oh. Oh. Wait, you still have the flag? Don't <laughs> And you know what? If I knew that he did, I wouldn't tell you. Up, up, down, down, left, the right, left, left, right, B A, B A, select start. There's a there's a there's a there's a a, a, a red haired guy in Austin, Texas, who runs with the carnival who has pink nuts who would cry if he saw that flag, you know what? Really? Yeah. He runs the freak show. He does, he is a freak. So I'd love to have you. So I would love to be a part. Yeah? Yes I would. I will I will book shows under the OPP flag. I will I will I will rejuvenate, revive, and do everything I can to take steps forward for crew number one. Make a deal? <laughs> a, 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 <laughs> you wanna be my cabin here? I'm, I'll be a cabin here. A cabin toy? Cabin toy? I believe they call that a peg boy. <laughs> you witnessed it. Come up to my camp. All right. Catch after you sit. Thank you, Mark. Give him a kiss. Everybody, come on, get up here. Give him a kiss. This ain't Siberia. Come on, give him a kiss. This ain't Siberia. Come on, kiss him. This ain't Siberia. This is Libertatia. Kiss him. This isn't Siberia. This is Libertatia. You gotta give him a kiss. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. So all wear a big fuzzy hat. To show solidarity for those brave Siberians who don't have no fuzzy ass on me. And how do you help a lonely boy who don't know he's a squirrel? Wandering over the grass in the business park. We just became a hit. Hey, 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 I ain't giving him tongue. I ain't giving him tongue. I'm, I'm not kissing him again. What the fuck? Stubble. Fuck the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I know, honestly. Holy shit. Hey, it's cool though. The that was like a fucking I know. southern revival.
Listen, Everybody we're not allowed to finish our to food like, until we give them the kiss. She received in the Lord's bread basket or whatever they say. Now we can get her. Hey, look, if you like my bandmate here, you don't want to use the creams, you want to use the sprays. But stay out of the sun. This song is for uh, the ocean spray guy. Lotion spray. Ugh. This one goes out to the cursed day star. By the way, anybody see my walkie-talkie? I think I dropped it. I tried your hair and I can't do it. Everyone's got skin cancer. Skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer. Who is to blame? Everyone's got skin cancer, skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer. Who is to blame? Do you get angry? Do you get sad? Do you cry out when they pat you on the back? Did you imagine it would come to this? The sun would burn you to a crisp and guess who we can blame? Whitey the man, yeah. Everyone's got skin cancer, skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer, who is to blame? Everyone's got skin cancer, skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer, who is to blame? So take off your clothes and dance around till the radiation puts you in the ground. Just peel the bird skin from your flesh. The cockroaches are not impressed, but you won't hear them complain. Fuck you. Everyone's got skin cancer. Skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer. Who is to blame? Everyone's got skin cancer. Skin cancer, skin cancer. Everyone's got skin cancer. Who is to blame? We're bringing it down limbo style. This dog knows. Hey, wait, wait, it's not over. Hold on. <laughs> Forget the lotions. Deny the creams. <coughs> Just sip your drink and listen to the screams. <laughs> Just peel the burnt skin. Except. Oh. Except. Gabba Gabba, you accept me? Except. One of you, you accept me? Except. Just accept that we are out of luck that as a whole we, we all are fucked fuck. except for this nucleus yeah. <laughs> what a blindingly glorious sun everyone's got skin cancer skin cancer skin cancer everyone's got skin cancer who is to blame everyone's got the skin cancer skin cancer skin cancer everyone's got skin cancer who is to blame all right Maybe while we're talking about the post-apocalypse, oh. we should really talk about the children. That's where we are. You see, <clears throat> apocalypse is what it's not. It's not one big event. It's a series of events, right? I think we are at the point. We're at the decline. So we're after that. Whatever the fuck when it fuck it happened, we're at the point where. You know, and you guys are smart. I dated at Barney. You're smart. You dated at Barney. Barney did it. Honestly, I think it was when. When Barney came on the air and there was no outcry, there was no like... <laughs> Fuck this shit. They, the, oh, the people who control the programming and... Uh, You're talking to somebody they're, who they're did they're Barney like, at children's parties. I know, I know. <laughs> oh boy, super D duper, I love you. Stupid. There weren't people this. in the streets oh, with pitchforks oh. and torches. Yeah, I did it, I did it out loud. They, they realized it. there's 40 no bucks one a party. out there watching. I'm like a prostitute, except I put things on, I don't take them off. I turn tricks, <laughs> magic ones. I tell you, I love you. I don't mean it. Happy up. birthday! I really fucking care. <laughs> I'm Barney the dinosaur at your children's fucking party. Anyhow, I okay. care. This song. Imagine, if you will, if back at home we had a microwave that me and Corbett could fit in, and we just we <laughs> dial the time microwave. that we want to go to, <laughs> and that's our time machine. Yeah. No, it's like that corn video, you know, where they show like the end of the world and shit. With a big illustrated by Tom McFarlane. Y'all is the corn, yeah. Yeah. Foil. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Anyhow, this is one possible future. Yeah, there's a portrait like of they, a possible future. Like they say in the Terminator, the future is not set. And if you see it, uh, uh, a robotic mosquito, but slap that shit. Pretty fucking likely. 
When the last child soldier with the last case of AIDS cuts the last tree down, who will dig his grave? What did he want it for? Was it for a spear or drum? Or to build a fire to cook the last cheese dog on? A stack of skulls looming 16 stories high. A penthouse view for the maggots in his eyes. It smells real funny. And a dead tree gives no shade And it won't again Till we've all decayed When the last corporate shill Spends the last dollar bill And the viruses can't find Anyone to kill What will happen to the plants? Who will feed the pets? If there's nobody to jerk off, will there still be internet? Whoa! Do they know it's Christmas time? No, they fucking don't. We are the world. No, we are not the world. Do they know it's Christmas time? No, they don't. Time has come for everyone to die. Will we have the strength? to say goodbye and in 100 years there will scarcely be a trace of this burst bubble we used to call the human race when the last child soldier with the last case of AIDS cuts the last tree down who will dig his grave what did he want it for? Was it for a spear or drum? Or to build a fire to cook the last cheese dog on? Thanks a lot. Thank you guys so much. That's the best start of tour ever. We're about to go out on the road for 7,800 miles. And today's the first day. And this is the first show. We did the, uh, the best movie we've ever action. made. We're, we're doing 7,800 miles. Cheers. Three weeks. Yeah. That's stupid oh, shit, dog. Nice. I gotta be in a car with this. 1,800 of that. I gotta be in a car with a geek, everybody. I can't believe it. I'm just a green patch, so as to whether or not I'm a pirate yet. Yeah, that's a question. But. Cabineer. I'm a cabineer. Which is means like I'm gonna Chris Elliott. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that shit means, right? Which means like I'm Chris Elliott, right? That's what that shit means, right? I mean, hey, wait, I've got a piece of lint on my balls. Will you get it off? That's what cabineer means, right? All right, I'm into it. All right. <laughs> you guys know what a peg boy is? I'm sure you do. Back in the old days, the, the, the crew would have, uh, they'd have a, a boy on, a cabin boy, who would be on the, you know, running around doing errands, and he'd keep a little peg I don't hear the story. Uh, <laughs> in his booty hole to, to keep it nice and loose. Uh, at all times, so that when it, in times of uh, celebration, uh, you know the peg boy could could be uh, shared alike amongst the crew. All right. Well, um, I gotta leave at three thirty. So. I believe that's a new position. Y'all better queue up. There need to be patches for it. Um, uh, Thanks for telling that story, Dan. I just wanted to cheer everyone up. <laughs> Especially me. Because that was a depressing thought, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. Yeah, we'll right. It's another true story. My birthday was a coming. Tuesday up next week. Mom said it was okay to have a slumber party. So I invited Dwayne, the kid with the ingrown brain. And I invited John and his dad's collection of porno. Bags of chips and cola, flashlights, dirty jokes. Sleepy eyes and thundercats, a pack of hidden smokes. We were getting too loud, Dylan was the one who ripped one. Mom knocked on the door and said, hey boy, settle down. So she closed the door and I ran to the closet and pulled out Parker Brothers. Mystifying Oracle, I met easy through Luigi. 
I met Easy through the Ouija. I met Easy through the Ouija. And he said, Oh, oh yeah. Whoa, no. Easy, alright? He said, Hey, you sucker homies. How the fuck you living? Hope you don't have any of the diseases I was given. How is my dog Ren? And what is up with Dre? And if you see that bitch ass ice cube, tell him I said, hey, I met easy through the Ouija. I met easy through the Ouija. I met easy through the Ouija. And he said, oh yeah. Whoa, no. So, um, I'm about to meet real big fish for the first time in my life. And uh, first band I ever saw was Manic Hispanic. And so I say that the specials, Operation Ivy, uh, there's a couple ska bands that are okay in my book. But after the 90s and how many ska bands there were in the 90s, if you're in the 2000s and you're playing ska, you can play a little bit of it, but don't play too much of it. Do you understand if you start a, if you start a ska band? <laughs> I'm gonna have to stab you in the neck with a pencil. It's not because I hate ska, it's because I'm Hispanic. You understand this? All right. I'm just saying, this has been a white boy scholar. If you can help it, don't start, just don't start a new fucking ska band. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. All right. If you, if you feel like you want to pick it up, pick it up. Put it back the fuck down. <laughs> so Easy pops to this cloud in this fictional storybook place called Heaven, and he sees Johnny Cash sitting on the cloud, mainlining speed. Easy kind of flips his jerry curl up, gets his hat. Man, that's an original gangster. That's an original gangster. Johnny Cash, original gangster. Mikey Roman, original gangster. Walks over. Say, hey, Johnny, what you doing? Oh, you mainlining. You mean on a heroin? You had the horse, man? He says, no, no. It's methamphetamine. And it's speed, he says. He says, damn, Johnny. Original gangster. Original gangster. And Johnny says, easy, it doesn't hurt you up here, son. Get it? See? All right. Easy's got a piss in heaven. Johnny's got the map. Easy sits next to Johnny. Johnny says, let me tell you some shit I, I learned up here. He said, you're lucky. They don't let you into heaven fully strapped. It's on a dick! Because if I had my AK, boy, I'd have to bust a cap. Fuck the boys. Stay away from bad shit. I'm telling you, you should. Because if not, when you die, you'll be a ghost rider in the hood. Yeah. Oh, we oh, raise the shit. Oh, we oh, raise the shit. Get that? Get that? And then Lemmy. Lemmy pops through the clouds in heaven. You know who Lemmy is? You know who Lemmy is. Everybody knows who Lemmy is. And he looks over at Easy and Johnny, and he says the most mighty word of, of, of all time. He says, Johnny, Easy, bone dagger! That's it. If Lemmy doesn't know what a bone dagger is, I'm very surprised. I'm at Easy through Luigi. I'm at Easy through Luigi. I'm at Easy through Luigi. And he said, oh, yeah. Puffing on the blunt, she got more crabs than a seafood platter. Said, "Damn." Why'd I have to? Now I'm in the closet looking, looking for, for a hanger. hanger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, really, speaking of lemmy, we're about to play a metal song for a bunch of like metal folks. Obviously, there's more black denim here than like than a Levi's outlet. <laughs> Really? We're gonna do this? All right. Yeah. This song's about two metalheads we know who were on a, a quest in the hills. They were on mushrooms and they found a deer corpse. Something very mighty happened. It's not gonna sound like it's about that, but it's about that. <laughs> found it in a distant land. A sticking straight up in the sand. Stolen from the lich's tomb All who feel its edge are doomed <laughs> I am on the fucking quest I will not stop to rest I will slay a fucking dragon I will make a big ass mess Bone dagger Dagger made of bone 
bone! Dagger! Dagger me the bone! I will storm the gates! I will slice your cakes! I will jump the moat! I will kiss the goat! Bone! Dagger! Dagger me the bone! Bone! Dagger! Dagger me the bone! You're fucking to a friend Your unicorn it will be hand Horses, werewolves to play fetch The demon lord will be your best Wow! I am on the fucking quest I will not stop to rest I will slay the fucking dragon I will make a big ass mess! Bone! Dagger! Dagger me the bone! Bone! Dagger! Dagger me the bone! Yeah. I do! Now, right when we get back from tour, July 8th, we're, we're gonna launch the video for this. An All Australian dude this. was like, he heard the song, he's like, I'll animate that, mate. Right. So and we so, have an animated video for and that. And in the first three seconds, you'll be like, Bobby Joe with flash animation, cool. But if you hang on and you don't press pause or delete it, whatever the fuck, you'll see some shit, all right? That's all we'll say. Well, what do you guys want to hear? A couple more. We'll do a couple more. Very kind of y'all to watch. We just, we're, we're stopping yeah. in, and uh, goddamn, I mean, it's, uh, there's so many like real friends here. Bullets and ammunition. All right. Favorite level. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was so oh, appropriate. Yeah. Play it again. Yeah, it's two sandwiches and then uh, there's lever. All right, so this song is a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what is this about? It was written in 1984. 84. 94. 94. You're in a rubber band. Wait, which one? Sandwiches, man. Uh, like 2004. Yeah, 2004. There you go. Okay. So, so. <laughs> I, we, were, I we were very impressed by E.T. We started as a band in 1995, that's why we, we were high when we were 17 and 19, and that's how we came up with our name, Bobby Joey Bola and the Children Mac Nuggets. By the way, my name's Corbett, if you don't know. And that's, uh, I'm Dan. Yeah, that's Dan. So, that's I'm our band. Corbett and Dan. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, uh, this one's called Sandwiches and Ammunition. Yeah, it's about, um, it's about Barack Obama, straight up. That's the only thing the song's about. No, I mean it's... All our songs are about Barack. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see this whole thing about um, how to smoke weed with Barack Obama? <laughs> Anybody see that shit? There's a guide. He had this um, crew when he was in Hawaii. This is, that shit. Maybe this Weird. is just trying to make him cooler than he really is, right? But uh, he had this... Uh, Get a time this machine pot smoking crew <laughs> where they'd all smoke weed and there was a bunch of lingo involved. And so this guide that they put out is all... Uh, a couple of friends who were in this pot smoking crew... Um, wrote out all of the lingo that they had. So if you smoke, if you have the opportunity to smoke weed with Barack Obama, uh, I, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, this one's called Sandwiches and Ammunition. Oh, you fucking fuck, dude. The dog is, I don't know what you're feeding it, but. Uh, <laughs> Chaos, come. He's laughing. Goddamn barking. Yeah, so this song's about Barack Obama. Come on. Mm -hmm. Among other. Mojo Nixon said, a president's a president's a president. Same white dudes in the old black cars running things. It's just a little bit different. You got a black dude in a black car. Are you a vegetarian? Yeah. No. Really? No, I, you can taste it? I've eaten like three pounds of pork in the last 48 hours. Why are you sitting hours. down, white Because <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten a bunch of pork. <laughs> you got a stain here, dog? No, no, it's stain free. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I never called you white boy, no. Uh, no, you call me white boy. All right. <laughs> He, he made a joke on the way up here. I was like, you make, you make sure you put suntan lotion. He goes, he goes, I'm fine, but you're the one who's going to brown. 
What about a fucking piece of Yo. potato shredded <laughs> up and fucking on a grill or something? Wait, what was that? Whatever, the, the, the Jackson Pollock of underwear? That's yes. <laughs> <laughs> on tour. <laughs> <laughs> on tour. <laughs> if you don't eat right, you become the Jackson Pollock of Hey, you become the Jackson Pollock of underwear. <laughs> All right, this one's called Sandwiches and Ammunition. For real. Watch out for broken glass and all the obstacles they put into your way to make you feel like you've got nothing better. It was a battle last night filled with some stuff that made the streets feel like a playground and the vomit started tasting better. And in the morning when I tried to ride my bike I had to swerve to miss the shot to your attempt to stop the moon from shining. Watch out for your favorite shows, your alarm clock and your paycheck and all the things they use to keep you greedy and predictable. They'll let you out till you can crawl onto a playground where the moon feels like a searchlight and there's no escape or dignity. And in the morning when I tried to ride my bike, I had to step over the shards of your attempt to stop the moon from shining. So that was the part that we feel. You're drunk, you gotta go to work the next morning, you're riding your bike home, this is what we wish. Hey, your hubcaps are flying, their sirens right behind you, your tires squealing as they chase you down for being a hero. Cow drops are everywhere, and snipers try to fuck your day up, cause you shot some president, and now the TV says you're a bad guy. <laughs> Should I root for you and take you in like Paul Revere and give you sandwiches and ammunition? Should I believe them? Should I root for you and take you in like Paul Revere and give you sandwiches and ammunition? What a stage it is. That's boss. That's been 12 years since we've been to a Libertation. And I'm sure there's been many incarnations of a stage, but that's an outfit. That's why I We are happy to play here. I don't mention it because I don't want to play it. <laughs> All right. This song is a true story, too. This song's about fucking liver. I had a roommate. He had a lisp. Lisps can be sexy. But he also went to Renfair a lot. <laughs> and uh, one night I got home from a real date with a real girl. I was like 18 years old. And I had, you know, it's with the trademark by the L. Trademark by the L. Real brand girlfriend. Real brand girlfriend. Yeah. Like the cheese. <laughs> so I got home and he's like sitting down at the kitchen table and he's doing this blueprint for a fake vagina. He's like, Corbin, come in and have a seat. I would like to show you something. I was like, ah, right, you know, I just come from a date. I don't want to go upstairs, you know, do this and go to sleep, you know. He's like, no, no, no. I've got the thing for you, dude. Put it on. <laughs> Two Ziploc bags. He says, don't use wheat bread because it's got grains in it and it will hurt your penis. You put two Ziploc bags, two pieces of bread. Uh, two pieces of liver, you put it into the microwave for 15 seconds, it's not melted plastic, put it between the couch cushions and you have a fake faux vagina. He alliterated his plans that he had written down on a piece of paper to me at the kitchen table. When I arrived home from a date, are you getting, are you following? I arrived home from, alright. And all I could say to him was, Dave, there's certain things we shouldn't share with people. And I went to bed. That's the true story. The song goes out to Dave. I wonder if he's still fucking with you. Say it's strange, but it is true. I finally found a way to replace you. You were so frigid, but I love still wouldn't keep. My new companion is in Adam and she. <laughs> On the day she left me, I found my lover. My liver weighed only half a pound A Ziploc bag, a microwave, and it went dinner I made love to a dead cow's dinner Cause I'm a liver lover Don't want no other Give me that 
soggy dead delight. All right, all right. <laughs> Lover, liver, just one more sliver. I won't need any onions tonight. The space between the couch cushions is just right for me. I'll slouch down with my baggy and do the nasty on my knees. Everyone calls me the liver king. But I'm so happy because it feels just like the real thing. Cause I'm a liver lover. I don't want no other. Give me that soggy dead delight. All right. Lover, liver, just one more. I won't need any onions tonight. <laughs> I'm sick, but my roommates. I think I'm great. I think you're great. When I, when I go shopping, I almost always find a date. All right, cool. <laughs> Liver won't treat me wrong, will never be untrue. And if I had a real girl, I'd probably love her liver too. Soggy dead to light a right. oh, night. Lover, liver, just one warm sliver. I won't need any onions tonight. Hi. Look, we're trying to improve race relations in the United States. That's us. That's the beer? You got me a little bit drunk, Levitation. You are brown, I am pink. It's not as weird as... Some might think. There we go. You are brown and I am pink. Wait, what is that? That's a... Chocolate and strawberry <laughs> and together in perfect harmony. <laughs> side by side, you're my hero. Uh, uh, <laughs> thanks. You're my white negro. I mean, not mine. You're like, you're oh. my homie. God damn it, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Property is theft. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, this is our last song. Because we do got to hit the road, unfortunately. Right now? Okay. Pretty soon. We have to say our goodbyes. Hey, you're driving all the way like through California, hours. so it don't matter, dog. Yeah. I can't drive through Nevada. That's right. Because I got a warrant. <laughs> I can't drive through Olympia, Washington because the feminist police don't like me. No, it's I, the it's real police, the not a feminist police. police. <laughs> it's the real police. They're probably not real it's big okay, feminists. I can't drive. You can't drive. <laughs> that's okay. That's good. That's better. That's better. Anyhow, this is our last song. And... Uh, I don't know what kind of time you guys have been having, but I, I hope it's half as good as. Folks are up late. Right now. Folks are up late. Folks are up late. Folks are up late. Nice. We'll be carrying you, or at least bits of you, or bits of your smell, anyway, all the way across the country. And we mean that in the best possible way. <laughs> Anyhow, this one's a single. Home. Goes out to you. You. Life is excellent, tap water tastes like excrement, the sky is rain poison, but I gotta pay the rent. That's the single line. How's it going? Do you want to join heads? It's going to be a really fun tour. <laughs> There's no litter here, it's only litter where there's no concrete, it's a rule. They got a lot of gall to put up a shopping mall where we once had everything. Life is excellent, the tap water tastes like excrement, the skies rain poison.
son, but I gotta pay the rent. I wasn't expecting it, but I had to pay the rent. I got a job, but I don't want that job! Cheesy orange smell like cones on the road to hell. Is this shit poison, Colonel Sanders? Is it food? Well, yeah, this shit sell. sell. Life is excellent. The tap water tastes like excrement. The skies rain poison, but I gotta pay the rent. I like my glowing box. And I like my showers hot, but you can't take the kill out of kilowatts. I know the talk is cheap. I know that I am weak, but I'd like, I'd like to be around next week. And I don't think there's enough plastic for me. Life is excellent, the tap water tastes like excrement. The skies rain poison, but I gotta pay the rent. Everybody say! Life is excellent, the tap water tastes like excrement. The skies rain poison, but I gotta pay the rent. And I don't wanna pay the rent. <laughs> Libertatia! <laughs> Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. We got. We love you, guys. Hey, we love you. Woo. For those I mean, of you who uh, who want like you know crap, if you want some crap. We got crap in our. Uh, We're selling our CDs out the car gonna, like too short. We're gonna do the Pied Piper vibe off of this one. You never stops rapping. <laughs> we're not. We're, 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 what? No, no, not. We're, not right away, but yeah. eventually, when we do leave, we're you're gonna have to follow us to the car. Get that little Toyota. Over there. <laughs>